Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati. I'm going to be doing my December favorites, which is so-so kind of a lot, but then again, maybe not. But before we begin, I'd like to tell everybody, welcome, please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be great, I appreciate it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out everything that's in my garbage bag that I've been collecting and it's I think quite a few you know items so there's gonna be some repurchases of course and then some that I won't bother and then there is some cleaning items and yeah let's begin so as I'm grabbing it out you're gonna see a lot of multiple items you'll see um a lot of hair care you know whether it be shampoo conditioner or um mouthwash that i keep saying i'm not going to purchase but my husband keeps picking up so i mean he obviously likes it so i have some planning pens that are done uh some cologne some rose water for your face a uh, bunch of colognes Sand it, uh, gel for your hands. Anything else that I should know about in here? Nope, that's it. Okay, so now let's get started. We're going to do the empties first, and then we'll go into the things that are not empty but still using. And we'll be carrying on for 2020. <clears throat> so I'm going to slide it all over. The first one that I purchased is the Suave. This is the refreshing shampoo, the waterfall. You've seen this quite a few times. And I mean, if I can get that a little bit out, I would. So this will be another repurchase. This is a good deal for this, $1 and I mean, you cannot beat it. The next item is the white ring men three in one this is my husband's shampoo conditioner and body wash he likes them so i end up purchasing it for him you can find it at the dollar tree for one dollar you get 20 percent more free and this is a 15 ounce which turned out to be 18 ounces so 18 ounce for a dollar is not bad um he obviously liked it so Good for him, I guess. <laughs> if he wants it again, he'll pick it up. The next one are both the same, but in different flavors. This is from Dollar Tree again. Assured Blue Mint Mouth Rinse Antiseptic. So this is a 16.9 ounce. That is the UPC. I do not care for this. I feel like you need the whole bottle just to feel, I don't know. It's just maybe not strong. That like you feel like you have mouth rinse in your mouth. I don't know. I don't I don't know how to explain it, but this is spring mint. That was blue mint. Again, 16.9 and UPC. I would not repurchase it, but he always tends to pick these up. Next item is the VO5 Passion Fruit Smoothie with soy milk protein. This is the conditioner. It says it's new. So I'm taking it by its word that it's new because I have no idea. This has plus five vitamins and oils. My hair tends to lead towards um, suave. But, I mean, I'm not mad at it. It's not like something I will not use if I didn't have it in the house. I mean, if I had it in the house, it's not like I wouldn't use it. So vitamin E, biotin, vitamin C, vitamin E. B5 and vitamin B3 and then it has sunflower oil almond oil mango oil chamomile oil and rosemary oil so that is a lot of stuff that's in here I don't know if it's true like does it help your hair or not but if it did that's great hold on Sorry about that. My cat decided she wanted to come and watch the video, I guess. 
She hasn't been really jumping since I moved the desk. The next item is, oh, I gotta take this one out too. The Old Spice Swagger. I think this is my daughter's boyfriend's, but it could have been my husband's. I have no idea. One of them were using it. Body wash. This is a two fluid, 21 fluid ounce. I know my daughter's boyfriend would repurchase it. It does smell good, but I don't want to have somebody smell like my daughter's boyfriend. So, yeah. So, I don't know. It was just, you know, where it was empty, so I grabbed it. So, this one here is the Vicks Vapo Drops. This I can eat like it's candy. Like, literally, I'm looking to see if there's any more. And there's nothing left but crumbs. So, yeah, I could eat this like it's candy. This is, oh, my God, I love this kind. To me, this is like candy. So, that would be a definite repurchase found at Dollar Tree. Next is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Base. Uh, what is it called? Prepare Fixer 1.52. Uh, it is totally empty. But it smells amazing for Wet n Wild. So I just use it as a refresh to your face. Like just to like... This is called... I have it in... I have no idea what language I had that in. But this is the English part of it. So it's 3-in-1 primer water. So it has prep, set, and refresh. And that's exactly what I use it for. Refreshing. This stuff is good to just like spray all over your face I would repurchase it but I mean if I could find something better I would definitely find something better this I would definitely repurchase I'm trying to get that little drop out of there cannot this is the Victoria's Secret bombshell this is a 2.5 ounce if this goes on sale again, I would repurchase it, but just to purchase it, no, because I have too many colognes. Not that I wouldn't repurchase it, I should say. But I do love this stuff. Next, I got from Dollar Tree, Leave-In Treatment, Curl Control. Now, I've used the other, I don't remember the name. It was Salon Selectives, but I don't remember what it was used for. And it felt like you're just throwing cream in your hair. This stuff is very good in the smell. I don't know if you can see that. I do have just a little bit left. I'm not going to even try to literally clean that out. But it was something I would repurchase. To me, creams leave your hair like it's dirty. Like you're throwing lotion on your hair. I don't even know if it's focusing. But this stuff here is, it's a curl control, and I have curls. So this is a curl stretch, curl stretch cream. But you don't feel like you're putting cream on, which is what I'm trying to say. So this would be another repurchase. This thing here from Walmart, I would definitely repurchase. It's a mineral bath soak. Muscle and joint discomfort, sore, tired feet, and on-the-go relief. Epsom salt, menthol, and spearmint. And it has all that. It smells so amazing. Oh, I wish you could smell this. But it is the Village Naturals Therapy. Now, if you know anything about the relief brand from, it's like stress relief, from Bath & Body, I think this smells a little bit better. It's got that, like menthol and spearmint together oh and it does leave your water so nice and soft oh i would repurchase that next item is the oh my god what is the name of this dg dominant gold this was my husband's it does smell amazing for a generic brand so if he wanted it i would repurchase it here is the stress relief I was talking about. This is the shampoo. I'm not really fond of this thing for the shampoo. I like like the hand sanitizer and the bar soap. Things that make, you know, like your nostrils open up because you can't breathe because of the heat or whatever or you got a cold. 
I like things like that, like the VIX and stuff like that. I use a lot of, this is another one of my favorites I'm going to bring out. But yeah, so, like, I like VIX and things like that. But the stress relief is, the stress relief is nice. I would purchase it because my husband does like it. As you can see, here's another bottle. This is my last bottle. The Magic Collection Rose Water Hydrating Mist. As you can see, I went through two rose waters within a month. So these are really good. I love this one. This one sprays so nice and you can put it in your hair as well. Face, body, and hair. But I love this stuff. And it's just a cute little bottle. But there is nothing left. I miss that. <laughs> And Walgreens chest rub. Like, if you know an Hispanic person, they love their VIX. Like, they love the, just, like, your VIX. Like, this, I'm putting it on right now. I put it on my nose. I put it on my chest. If you're sick, you put it on your feet. It's amazing stuff. Like, this stuff, like, cures all. Next is a pink pen, gel pen. I don't know where I got it from, but it is a very nice pen and writes very pretty. There is a little bit left, but I'm not going to fight it because it's skipped just right here. I don't know if you can see that. And I mean, there's no way of getting that down there. So yeah, so this is another, I would repurchase. Um, I haven't shown these but Colgate Enamel Health I feel like toothpaste rarely runs out with all the people we have in our house brushing your teeth three times a day is I mean I think because there's like so many of these things open like you can just grab one grab one grab one grab one and you'd still be a long time so Colgate Enamel Health whitening this stuff tastes good I like the taste of it too, but yeah, it does help your teeth. And then for the enamel, the health of it. This one here, Extra Strength Pain Reliever by Ready In Case. I don't know what brand it's from, like what store. I don't even know where I got it from. But I wouldn't repurchase it because, again, I don't even remember where I got it from. Uh last item that's empty that came with gifts is this little charms and you hook it on and you collect them and this is the galaxy globe bath bombs and each bath bomb came with something I gave my daughter one of these because I didn't think I was going to like this and then this just opens up let's see if I can open it there you go and then you just put it back. This came out of a bath bomb, and all of these, one each, came out. So I had three, six. I know there should be more of these. But yeah, so these are very cute collectors. Like, you can put them on your planners or somewhere and just have them dangle or whatever. Little charms. But this was... The bath bombs made your water so nice. It was so all relaxing. Next has been my favorite for the last two weeks. Um, it was my favorite before, but I wasn't using it. This is the White Barn Scented Candle Pumpkin Pecan Waffles made with essential oils. It smells amazing. And as you can see, I like to burn the ends because I, I tend to leave them on a little too long, I think. But yeah, so this one was $14.50. And this is, I mean, I like it. It makes my room smell like if I had dessert or breakfast. The next items is what I got for Christmas. I have been loving this bag. Like, this bag is going with me for uh, January. I would love to take it apart, though, and make it into a planner bag. But, oh, that would be so bad of me. But, yes, yeah, so let me show you the bag name. It's called Candy Couture Makeup Clutch by Macbeth Collection. She got it on clearance, but I love this bag. It's really nice. Rose gold. You can see, like, the rose in that bag. 
This here is the warm vanilla sugar. I just got it. I haven't tried it to even tell you if I like it. I do like the fact it does have the blue beads. So that's nice. This is a shaver that I got that I haven't really tried to even tell you if I like it. And that's this one. And then my Energel Liquid Gel Ink. I really haven't really like gave it a chance, so I'll wait on that to tell you if I like it. So that'll probably be like in January. The last two planning items that I know I like. One being what I got for Christmas, but I opened it up I think in Thanksgiving. Is this happy see it big well happy that was me that put the happy but the see it bigger planner and I mean I love the fact it's huge I love where you can just write I have my favorite ink joy pen by papermate and yeah I'm loving this so I haven't even did the next week but yeah I started it in uh, the 14th so I'm not even done like I'm gonna go in and fill this all out make it look so pretty but yeah this is my purse planner and I'm loving the size like this is gorgeous to me and it's in a pretty gray and I love the gray so last but not least what I'm loving and I chose my word of the year off this planner it says this girl is forever fearless and when I looked at it I'm like fearless and then this girl this is why I chose it but yeah I'm loving this thing look how chunky it is gorgeous it's the agenda 52 paper studio and you can catch these for like half price these are really nice a5 planners and yeah so thank you for watching Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So let me know in the comments below, what is your favorites? Like, do you collect your empties and then put it away and say, like, this is my favorite, this is what I'm going to repurchase? Do you make a list of your favorites? Leave it in the comments below. Let's talk about it. Again, thank you for watching. Talk to you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. Bye-bye.